Good rising, brethren. This is Big Judah coming to you guys in California. Before I begin, give all praise to the Most High Yahweh. Acknowledgement to the earthly mother. Who was wisdom? Who was the Holy Spirit? Acknowledgement to Yahweh Shai. I pray the Most High blesses us this evening, gives us more knowledge and understanding of the events of the past in order to understand events that are currently happening on the earth. So we get a much better understanding of the things that are soon to come on the earth. Brethren, the spirit of the Most High is pervasive all around the earth. I was listening to Sister Lisa Cabrera's video talking about the uh, prince and princess going to Belize and to Jamaica and all these other Caribbean countries and how they are protesting their visits, not wanting to be under the rulership of the Queen of England anymore, wanting recompense and reparation for the wrongs that have happened to our people. See, before, you know, the people would just be happy that they were just being recognized, that they chose to come and visit these islands and we were just happy to try to make them happy. But as you can see, the Most High has released the spirit on the world to be able to see through all of these atrocities and for people yearning for recompense. And even though, you know, the prince and princess seem to think that they weren't the ones that did these horrible things and that they're not responsible you guys are the ones that are here at the end and you're the ones that are holding the bag and you're going to be the ones that are going to be held responsible. Just like when everything turned on us and you were allowed to come over here to these lands and you were able to go and take them over the lands and destroy the people and enslave them. Were those the same ones that were responsible for breaking all the laws, such as the commandments of the, of the Father? Were those the ones that were responsible for rejecting the knowledge of the Most High? Or were they just the ones that were just the unlucky ones that were living during the time of the transition? You are the unlucky ones that are now here to witness and experience the transition. We are the lucky ones to be able to see the things that our ancestors have yearned for. And you see the spirit has been released worldwide. You see people are just, their, their mindsets are different. They can see through all the BS. Just like yesterday when... I guess uh, America was talking about the horrible treatment of the citizens in China. And China said, hold on, you are the last people to be going around talking about human rights violations. And the Chinese brought up their treatment of the natives. The Chinese brought up their system of slavery the enslaving of the people in Africa and bringing them over on the transatlantic slave trade. Even though they're admitting some truths, they're still caught following along with a lot of the lies. Then I let you know that the so-called black people that are here in the Americas were already here. They give you some truths mixed in with, you know, their dogma. Nothing new. Nothing new at all. But as you can see, the Most High Spirit has been released. And the more that, you know, that Spirit is released, you know, the people are going to want that recompense. They're going to see the unfairness of the society. They're going to see the hypocrisy of these nations. Just like today, when America was talking about the war crimes committed by Russia. But all the while, they have been totally, you know, silent on the war crimes that this nation 
has perpetrated on the Most High's chosen people. There is no statute of limitation. The Most High didn't just forget. He didn't just wait a certain amount of years and said, okay, you know what? That was cool. We'll just, you know, we'll give you a mulligan on that. We'll just, go, we'll just, we'll just start from today and go forward. And we won't talk about the things you've done before. The Most High is not like that. He's going to make you pay for all the things that were done to his children. We're going to look at a little bit of something right now. We're going to continue with this book right here with numbers or number in scripture. Supernatural design and spiritual significance. Because see, this also plays into prophecy, just like the last video. But this little section we're going to look at today is going to show you, see, these Christians today, you know, they have it all backwards. You know, they talk about the the uh, how the Christians before were persecuted. But we need to look at who were these Christians and what were these Christians uh, representing that got them persecuted? And who was the one that was doing the persecuting before? See, the Christians of today are just fair weather Christians. They only want to believe in white Jesus during the good times. When times get tough, when things get rough, all of a sudden they want to be they want to be raptured away. They don't want to suffer for their power. But suffer they will. Gonna read a little bit here at the bottom. We're gonna start here at the bottom, all right? Just wanted you guys to be able to see this. This isn't the part I really wanted to concentrate on, but I wanted to start it right here. Uh Alatrio is a word which occurs only here not uh, being used even by any of the Greek classical writers. It is composed of two words, aletrios, belonging to another, and episkopos, an overseer or a bishop. According to this, it would mean one who takes the supervision of affairs which pertain to others and in no wise to himself. Hence, it is rendered in AV, a busybody. Or a meddler, okay, <clears throat> and other men's matters. But this is evidently weak, and it is in fact far short of the facts referred to in the context. The Christians were being exhorted in this epistle with regard to a great persecution, which was even then commencing, and in which they were charged with being murderers, thieves evildoers, and aletrio episcopii, whatever that may mean. Now it is clear that something more is meant here than a mere busybody. See, they were talking about how our people were busybodies, but they were also, but you know, with the certain word and what it meant, but they were charging our people with, you know, murders, thievery, evil doings, things like that, like they do today. You know, if we get caught doing anything, the book gets thrown at our people. This is how you know who are these original Christians and the persecutions that they had to deal with. They weren't the Christians that are here today that, you know, oh my gosh, you know, you said, you said something about, about my pastor and they just lose their minds. You said something about my country and they just lose their minds. You know, they, they, they don't deal with real persecution. You know, when people talk about their religion and start actually going in on them, you know, they get offended. They turn off the comments on their videos. They erase, you know, any negative comments that don't go along with everything that they believe because they can't deal with someone questioning their beliefs. They're so used to being able to say whatever it is that they want and no one is able to question them. And if you do, they don't they don't answer the questions. They just make outlandish, uh, you know, uh, you know, this person say crazy things about you. You know, you're you're evil. You're this. You're going to hell. This and that. Call your name, stuff like that. Persecute you. Make false allegations, false statements. That's what they do. They don't prove their point. They just make false accusations against you. Now check this out. <clears throat> so now it is clear that something more is meant here than a mere busybody or meddler by being classed among such great criminals. The fact is that these persecutions commenced with 
popular accusations. And see, you're going to see the exact same thing happening today. Nothing has changed. See, the other nations knew that we were going to awaken. They knew that we were going to break away from their religions. And the Most High was going to give us knowledge and understanding again. So they had to, you know, put people in strategic positions to make, you know, these allegations. And that's exactly what they've done. They make these, you know, commence with these popular accusations. So when you hear people just, they don't have any proof. All they do is make accusations. Nothing new. This is exactly what the enemy has done from jump. And you're going to see that right now. It says, the Christians were regarded with general hatred and the common charges brought against them were murders incendiarism etc but chief of all they were charged with hatred of the world and hostility to society so true christians did not want to be part of society they wanted to be separate from society and the other nations can't allow that. No different than today. Once you decided you didn't want to follow their holidays, you don't want to follow, you know, their dietary laws. All of a sudden it seemed like you were committing the worst crime possible because you actually wanted to follow what's written in the Bible. We've all gone through that. These are the same things that were happening back then. <clears throat> okay, so again, but chief of all, they were charged with hatred of the world and hostility to society. <clears throat> Excuse me, and it would make sense because this world has been given into the hands of the wicked, Job nine twenty four. So a true Christian, a true follower of Yah of Yahweh, is not going to want to be part of this world. Is going to want to be separate. Because they're not going to, you know, spiritually connect. So again, the technical term for this latter crime was odium humani generis, okay? And it meant that the Christians were bent on relaxing the bonds which held society together, introducing divisions into families, setting children against parents, parents against children, and accomplishing all this by unlawful and magical arts. So you see, that's why you got to set up people. You know, keep your enemies close. You keep your friends close, but your enemies closer. This is exactly what the enemy does. Find someone that looks like you. Try to infiltrate the group. So that then when you really start to get that awakening going on, when that spirit is really starting to work with you, Start making these false accusations. Start making all these allegations. Don't worry about proving anything. You don't have to worry about that because we never do prove anything. We just make accusations left and right. This is the playbook of the enemy. Absolutely nothing new. So if you understand what's happened in the past, you will then understand why these things are happening right now. Why the Most High lets these things play out again today while you have people who are not allowed to come to where we're going they're just set up to cause division and contention and strife that's all that they're here for like i said they don't prove anything just like here in this book these original christians and these romans and these greeks and these gentiles did exactly the same thing. Nothing new. Okay? And see, this is exactly what it talks about with Pluto coming back. The Israelites pulling up, wrecking shop, destroying society, destroying the lies. That's what we did before. And that's what the Most High is going to use his people to do again. As you can see, it's already happening. Now the prince and princess can't even go to their islands anymore. Because this spirit has been released by the Most High. America can't just make all these false claims about what these other nations are doing now. Because everyone's like, hold on. Well, what about you? What about your history? 
you're in no position to make any, you know, judgments on us considering the fact of what you've done. That's the spirit that has been, you know, that has been released. And that's what you're seeing playing out day by day. You see the preppers talking about they'll go back 20 years, 30 years, but they refuse to go back any further. You'll see pastors talking about yesterday I saw uh, Stone wanted to, he was going to come up with something about uh, a video about Esau and the enemy. And all of a sudden that video disappeared and then another video with a different title came up. Because it's very difficult for them to have these conversations. Because once they open up, you know, open up that wound, crack that door, the Most High is going to flood the place with his knowledge and understanding. And they can't refute that information. So therefore, they don't even want to have those conversations. So check this out again. And it meant that the Christians were bent on relaxing the bonds which held society together. Satan's society, right? Introducing divisions into families. Setting children against uh, parents. Parents against children. And accomplishing all this by unlawful and magical arts. See, these things have already happened. They happened to the true Israelites. But see, they make it sound like this is something that's going to happen in the future after they get raptured away. But these are the things that they have already happened. And again, of course, now with the um, unlawful and magical arts, check this out. This charge was absolutely necessary to procure their death. For in the Roman Empire, the right of inflicting capital punishment belonged only to a few high officials. And death was a punishment of magicians. <clears throat> so they had to marry these people with magic. They had to, you know, make these accusations about them using magic so that therefore they could kill our brethren. Nothing new. Has that not been exactly what they've played out again today? So you can see who's been set up to do the will of the Most High and the ones who've been set up to do the will of Satan. Because certain people are set up, hey, check out this book. Check out this information. Study for yourself. Don't limit yourself. Don't limit yourself to just the books that your enemy has approved for you. Study on your own. Chase after the Father. Depend on the Holy Spirit. Depend on, the, depend on the Most High to send your Holy Spirit to lead you. Those types of things are going to destroy families. They're going to destroy social structure. Because social structure is bent on keeping you in, in line. Following only what the churches have given you. Making sure that you only follow the prescribed uh, religion that you've been given, that was given to your parents and your grandparents. And don't deviate. Don't think for yourself. Society has been set up to keep you separated from your spiritual self. That's why the society is all about you concentrating on your individual needs, your physical needs, and not your spiritual growth. Everything is a distraction to keep you from chasing after your spiritual growth, your spiritual higher self. Every, as above, so below. You, you have your physical body you see right here, but you have your spiritual connection in the heavens. You have a spiritual you in the heavens that you're working to get back to. And this society is set up to keep you concentrated on the things down here. And they call all of these types of things, the spiritual things, magic. So therefore, if you start chasing after your spirit, you start following, you know, the things of the spirit, they can make accusations about you being a magician and they can have you um, killed. <clears throat> now check this out. The Roman officials scorned a merely religious charge. Okay. <clears throat> it uh, seems clear, therefore, that the word... I'm not going to try to read that, was coined in order to express in Greek the Roman indictment of 
odium humani generis. So elastic an accusation could be easily proved in times of popular excitement. So they can, you know, they can just make these accusations and they don't really have to prove anything, but you'll be guilty of it and they can kill you and they can take your land, take your home, take your wife, take your kids, do whatever they want. That's what they did when they got over here to the Americas, made these accusations. So they were sacrificing kids and sacrificing other people. And that justified everything they did. Same playbook. They tried to do the same thing again here at the end. False accusations about magic and people using magic and this, 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 and that. Say nothing new. Absolutely nothing new. So again, so elastic an accusation could be easily proved in times of popular excitement. Christians were charged with breaking up the peace, okay, of family life, raising discontent and disobedience amongst slaves. There you go. You're messing it up for us. You're not letting us enjoy our heaven. You're over here trying to teach these slaves stuff. You're trying to get them to think for themselves. And we want them to not think at all because we want to be able to use them for our enjoyment. We want to use them to build up our kingdom. Nothing new. It says, true, they were hostile to the vices of Roman society and doubtless denounced them. <clears throat> okay? So, yes, these people were going against Roman society. Now you know Roman society, then, hey, who's controlling this world? Satan. Who's giving this world? Satan. So, therefore, who's the ones that are in charge of keeping everyone in line down here? Rome. So therefore, who's Rome connected with? Satan. See, these, these, are, these are the histories that I want you to get, making these connections. They want you to think that these types of things, you know, are going to happen in the future after they get raptured away. But they've already been happening. Okay? Society then must destroy these Christians in self-defense. <clears throat> so see... Society has to destroy the true Israelites in order for them to be able to just maintain their society. They must destroy the true Christians. Psalms 83. All the nations must come together to destroy the Israelites. Because these people are not from our turn. Wisdom of Solomon chapter 2. They say that they're God's chosen people, but we're going to test them. We're going, to get, we're going to kill them. We're going to destroy them. Just like it talks about in Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 2. Most of, many people here, you know, have read it, but there's going to be plenty of people who haven't. And now you can see why these books have been hidden. Because they don't want you to realize that Satan runs this world. And that in order for them to be able to, you know, have control, they must destroy the true Christians. And that's exactly what they've done. And they had to do it in self-defense. Because as you can see, when the Most High awakens his people and starts to get, send that spirit out, it will destroy their society. It's destroying their society now. People all over the world are waking up because the Most High has unleashed the spirit of truth worldwide. And it is destroying this, uh, this, this society. So again... True, they were hostile to the vices of Roman society and doubtless denounced them. Society then must destroy these Christians in self-defense. It doesn't got to destroy these Christians of today. You guys are all part of the system. You don't go around. You, you guys try to teach you how everybody needs to come together. We all need to pray for peace. We all need to pray for the Ukraine. We don't want war. We want peace. Sure, yeah, right. We want the Most High's will be done. If that's war, then so be it. Whatever the Most High wants. You guys never prayed for peace before. You want that. You wanted that work. When you had the when you had the blessing, that's what you wanted. Now the Most High's giving you what you've been wanting, and now you don't want that no more. Okay. So again. So, so, then, uh, so then must destroy these Christians in self-defense. 
This is the teaching involved in this word. It is no mere advice to disregard the taunts or jeers of others. It was a solemn exhortation that when persecution came, they were to suffer, not as murderers or thieves, or as being like our agitators as the enemies of society, but as Christians. We suffered as Christians. We suffered as the followers of Yahawashai. And now when it's your time to suffer, you guys don't want to go through that. You want your opportunity to just be, you know, whisked away in order to go straight to heaven and leave all the pain and suffering behind. So be ready always, okay, to give an answer. If ye suffer for righteousness' sake, happy are ye, and be not afraid of their terror. Do not suffer under those terrible accusations and false charges, but suffer as a Christian. Be not ashamed of this, but glorify God on this behalf. See, you know, we, we have to suffer through we have suffered through all of these false accusations. So again, if you suffer for righteousness sake, happy are ye and be not afraid of their terror. Do not suffer under those terrible accusations and false charges, but suffer as a Christian. Be not ashamed of this, but glorify God on this behalf. These are the things that the true Pete followers of Yahweh and Yahweh Shai have had to go through. These things have been happening for the last few thousand years. And all the other nations have been, you know, working together through Psalms 83 to hide this information, to hide our suffering. But now the spirit has been released and our suffering and the things we've gone through, the Most High is bringing and putting in front of the Gentiles' face. Where they don't have moral authority to be talking about what other nations are doing when they're guilty of the same crimes, if not worse. No more will they be able to just sweep all of their past deeds under the rug and no one ever bring it out. Now you got China bringing it out. Talking about the things that America has done. You got other nations bringing it out. Before, when you guys were all working together against the Israelites, none of you said a word. Now the Most High is making you go at each other's necks now all of a sudden you're like, hey, you don't be saying nothing to me. Look at your own history. Look at what you've done. You start to see all the nations going back and forth and, you know, going at each other. You got the Saudis now not returning Biden's call, not pumping more oil, not trying to help America out anymore. You got Russia accepting the, a, uh, their own currency for uh, oil now and not dollars, which is gonna be the death of the dollar. Cause that was the only thing that was making people have to actually use dollars was to buy oil. But if they're gonna be able to buy uh, oil and their own currency, then why need then why do they need the dollar? These are the things you're seeing going on right now. You're seeing the quick demise of this system. And you see the Most High bringing down a nation and raising up his own. So right here, many Christians are today ignorant and therefore unmindful of what is meant by this solemn exhortation. Exactly, most of you Christians are totally ignorant. It's like, hey, you know, you guys, if something bad happens, y'all make it sound like it's the worst thing ever. Most of like, hey, if you're suffering for righteousness sake, just take the punishment. But see, if you know that you're really not, if you really don't have that kind of faith in your religion, then you're not going to want to suffer because you know that you're suffering for a lie. You know that your religion isn't true. You know that the religion you believe in can't stand up to scrutiny. And if you're turning off comments, taking videos down, not able to actually have a a decent back and forth conversation. If you're hiding books, hiding information, refusing to prove who's who scripturally. 
just shows you a little something. I saw a video about critical race theory from, I want to say it was Wretched TV. And again, another guy who turned off his comments talking about, you know, trying to say the Bible and what was it? Critical race theory was not biblical. Uh, and this, 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 and that. And I'm like, wow, you, you're taking that scripture out of context. You're taking that out of context. You know, talking about all, oh, you know, people not, not having to go into slavery. I'm like, yeah, right. Okay. That's not in the Bible. I was like, pay to her double what she did to you. Give to her double what she gave to us. If you gave us slavery for four to 500 years, and the most high says, give you double, that means you're going into slavery for double what we did. Not that difficult. But see, when you don't want to actually have a real decent conversation, you only want to interpret the scriptures the way you want to, the way it's comfortable for you, then that shows you that you're not really genuine. You just want the Bible to say whatever it is that you want it to say for you to feel confident in order for you to be able to sleep well at night. But see, we weren't able to sleep well at night for a very long time. Because you guys were on top. Most High gave you the blessing and you took it to the max. So now the Most High is about to do exactly the same thing to you, but double. So again, many Christians are today ignorant and therefore unmindful of what is meant by the solemn by this solemn exhortation. As the leaders of the people, they are taking the place of those whom we speak of as agitators. And by preaching what is openly called a social gospel and the gospel of the people are uh, helping forward the enemies of society and are themselves disturbers of the peace <clears throat> under the guise of what they call Christian socialism. Such teachers would find it difficult to obey the exhortation to make a good defense against such charges, for in their case, the accusation would be true and not false. And that's true. Our, the true Christians were destroyers of the peace, destroyers of society. So therefore, there's not going to be really any defense. We're not for your turn. We have not been for the turn of Satan. We have been sent here to represent our father. And now we're, and that's exactly what we're here for again. We're representing our father. And now, but the, th the thing has changed now, that the blessing is coming back to the true people of the Most High. And that blessing is being taken away from you. All praise to the Most High, Yahweh. Acknowledgement to the earthly mother. Who was wisdom? Who was the Holy Spirit? Acknowledgement to Yahweh Shai. Shalom.